Shame. Hey, what's up? I can hire a scout. But he would take some of the money. I don't want to hire a scout. I think we're living in the last days of the Holy Empire, at least we know. Think about it. Irath managed to make the whole Ajalan believe he was the most powerful dragon for years. Evan Ma Malagia must have been jealous of his pulling such a bluff, but now this fear is gone. Can the Empire endure? The colonies have already cut themselves off. The Empress can do nothing about it. And what prevents the elves, Nagas, the wizard from nibbling pieces and fallen giant? Uh, I could hire him. Goblin Watchtower is in. Spurger is in. If you're tired of sleeping on the ground or under a tank, you can enjoy a real bed. And they cook food for you, so they don't take from your food supply, I guess. Um, actually, how does hirelings work? For a small cut, 0% and 1% of the gold will be fine. I can furnish you with that knowledge. But the straight up hiring is 100 gold, which is expensive. Forget that. Daggers expert, I don't have anyone. Let's stare yet. Goblin Tower. You're curious about the name of this place. <laughs> I warn you, it's quite a terror, so you better take a seat. A couple of years ago, this inn was called the Emperor's Crown. That was before the village was attacked by a band of pirates, or should I say goblin pirates? Oh, I didn't even, I haven't been paying attention to this. There's more than one person here. Shoot, I wonder if I missed anyone. Normally it's right here at the bottom of the description. That's right, my friends, a whole crew of goblins. Apparently they weren't aware of that many Spurgo's inhabitants or former warriors, adventurers like yourself. Sometimes even genuine heroes come here for, for sunny, quiet retirement. Not finally that disturbance, you know. So the goblins, they come ashore and start attacking the village with the pointy sticks and... What's the name of the thing? The curvy piece of wood that's supposed to return to a store? Anyway? Before long, the goblins will rush into this very building, not to ransack it. No, they were looking for shelter from the angry mob outside. <laughs> of course, the inn was not empty either. Patriots did not take the intrusion of a bunch of hysterical goblins very well. And then there were a lot of broken furniture, a few dead goblins, and the rest of them running to the boat as if Craghack himself was on their heels. That's awesome. You can, play, you can play as him in the Heroes games. What about Kenji? Kenji, oh, he's kind of a mascot here. I found him hiding in my cellar a few days ago after attack. He was clearly not the brave as a bunch, but maybe a bit sm smarter than the average goblin. So Kenji, first up, he sees, he hides inside a barrel and waits for stone bats. When I find him, my first reaction, reach for my knife. Turns out the little guy says he's just a cook. Goblin cook. I had just had to see him work, so I said, alright, guy, cook me something. He did, and it was delicious. So I thought, what are the odds? I had just renamed the in the Goblin Watcher, and I had a genuine goblin chef. It shows the dragons do have a wicked sense of humor, right? So I decided to spare them and boil them. Of course, the top how to wash his hands without touching the food. Oh, we got going. Services. Ooh, buy supplies. Kenji actually calls him food to go. Funny little guy. Uh, it's two, six, four, six to go. Yeah, sure. Gonna need supplies. I forgot. What do the other dudes have to say? Uh, well met, my friends. The name is Jassad. So you are the raiders of the lost treasures, bold tre challengers of the ancient mysteries, intrepid explorers of the great unknown and the hidden truths. <laughs> oh, how marvelous to meet you. I am indeed in great need of services like yours. You see, I am... You could say an explorer myself. I spent many months exploring these lands, collecting information on its astonishing, colorful citizens. But I need to leave this region in a few moons, and I'm afraid I won't have much time to complete my assessment of the various people and creatures here. Independence. Uh, so, am I offering you a chance to work with me? Are you interested in my adventurous friends? Uh, sure. Great, I see you already have a beastry to keep track of creatures you meet in your journeys. That's perfect. All I ask is you share your findings with me once in a while as you fill up your Pokedex. For every, say, 10 creatures you enter, I'll offer you a reward. The more creatures you register, the greater reward. Ooh, that's that's fun. Should you include non-animal foes like brigands or orcs? That's that's a good question. Hmm, let's, let's, let's say you can. I'd rather trim the list down. 
And then return home with incomplete, I mean, knowledge. It's a truly mysterious and fascinating place, don't you think? I've been exploring the western part of the continent, while well, a good friend of mine is focusing on the east. This is the last part of my journey here. According to some ancient aliases I found in the libraries of Admiral, this piece of land used to be called the Maryland Peninsula. A time ago, I wonder why its name changed. Too bad I've been a bit behind schedule. I won't have time to solve the mysteries here. I've spent much too much time in the seven seas, I'm afraid. These wizards are too interesting. Some of them control the dead. Amazing, right? Oh, I imagine you can get a lot. I hope a witch is one of the classes you can get. Again, sorry for all the dialogue, but uh, this is the first town. I want to explore, get all the quests I can get. Uh, you're welcome if you don't like this kind of stuff to skip ahead to others combat, but uh, it's important to to see how the towns are laid out and whatnot in, in these games. Uh, apparently, you can't talk to her. The Logar Chapel of the Arath, the Dragon of the Light. Not my favorite dragon, but at least Sister Lystria and her fellow Vistros can bring you back even from the brink of dead. To ask for a donation, of course. Uh, do they have anything? Uh, <laughs> that angel looks exactly like the angel in Heroes 5. Gossip. To Eros Deception, the part played by Holy Inquisition, the Church of the Church's Bread, and the Empire, the Duchess of Griffin and Wolf are advocating a clear separation between religious and political mass. I believe it is for the better for tall too long they have been trying to make their ambitions pass the dragon's desire, tarnishing his name. At least now, true faith in the light can be had. Uh, no one can be trained yet. Services, resurrection, restoration, cure. Cool. So you can come back here if you're like disease or whatnot. Um, can I talk to these schmucks? Nope. Uh, let's see, let's go here. Can I get in this? Yeah, I can. Oh, a yunk. Let's see, boom, boom. What's this? a shrine. I did something. Uh, what was this? Lore. Poems. Other books. Uh, sometimes in your books it, it, it tells you what these things do. Seems like a sh Oh, actually. No. Uh, don't get. I haven't gotten any bonus or anything like that. So maybe it's like a town portal altar. You come back to it if you if you have the town portal skill. That's my guess. Okay. Ah, it's another spider. This one is one conditions you can receive from traps, hostile spells, abilities. They are different spells and potions to remove them. We can visit a healer. Use an antidote. Yeah, okay. Well, uh... Ooh, that's an ugly looking spider. Okay. Well, we're gonna attack you. Uh, we're gonna attack you. Attack. And... We'll burn, see what burn looks like. Bad. Cool. Uh. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, poison is just wrecking my health. There we go. Yay. What's confusing is the bar is the same health of is green was before it used to be red. So it's confusing because I think they're all poison, but they're not because previous games when you poison your health bar turned green. And this one, there's no real symbol of that, which is a bit of a shame. Like eight, for example, if your character was poisoned, his face would grimace and his health bar would be green. On this one, you have to open up your stats to see. 
Uh, there might have been a symbol. I wasn't paying attention. But, ah, uh, well. Um, again, uh, in those games, you could get a, a skill regeneration for certain characters. Regenerate your health. On this one, looks like health doesn't regenerate at all. Unless you have to build it up. I don't know. Probably something I have to experiment later on. Let's see, you go that way, which is part where the guard captain is. Can I... Oh, I can go down the well. Interesting. I'm just gonna assume there's gonna be a quest that sends me down there. I'm Maybe the guard captain. Maybe there's a ranch down there he wants me to kill. Let's see. Let's see, that leads back that way, so... Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Yes. Torchlight. Ooh. An axe. Loot all. Uh, shared inventory. I do love the shared inventory. That is a really nice touch. Uh, da -da -da -da. Right. Uh, inventory. The other one with the axe. You're the exact same thing. In fact, that sells for more. Why? Weird. The other thing is, I can't see the durability on, on my things. Because it says repair equipment, but you don't get to see what the durability on them, which is a bit annoying. I wish I had the merchant skill. I, lo I, I love making money that way. <laughs> cool though. Alright. Uh, can I cook? No, I can't cook. Can I? Nope. Ah, that's the training center for the town garrison, but they also train civilians for a price. They won't be able to teach you everything, but it's a perfect place to start improving your skills. Now, uh, as with most Might and Magic games, if you're not familiar, when you level up, you can't properly level up. You can't earn that new level up until you go to a training center, spend money to train that level. So if my guys leveled up to level 2, I don't get that until I come here and train it. Um, so, so you gotta be careful. And these training centers only level you up, level you up to a certain place. Um, although, from the looks of it, that is no longer the case, and that these guys only level up. They only level up um, weapon stuff. Uh. So it looks like you do all the make level up, and I, I guess you no longer have to waste money leveling up your dudes, which in the old games spent most of your money. Um, uh, my other complaint is uh, old games would mark down in your in your note your journal location of trainers. So if you forget what trainer is, you can just look up your book where he is at. So if uh, another feedback thing I provide is that they add that in the journal, like the older games, where you could remember what what town has what trainers and whatnot. Unless all towns have a certain amount of trainers, then I guess it's a moot point. But it's it's still um, a bit annoying. I'm Zell, Houndmaster of Subrogo, and the closer you find to a mare around here, can I help you with anything? Yes. A few centuries ago, Spurgo was a smuggler haven com compared to the heavily fortified port of Catal. Spurgo was a much less risky entry point to Pensila. As it turns out, one of my ancestors was a smuggler himself. I recently found his own diary. Apparently, there used to be a secret cove under the town. That's how they were smuggling goods in and out of Spurgo. My ancestors claimed he had his nest egg in that cove. He laid an egg and an enchanted coat for her, which I found the key. Find the coat for him and we'll split the gold. 
the Seahawk. Ah, you ride with the Seahawk, a fine ship she is. I've known the captain, sure Christian, for a long time. Do you know he was planning to become an alchemist? The second eclipse forced him to enlist in the army instead. Guess the maiden fate had other plans for him. Yes, not much happens here, but that's how we like it. Nobody really knows what the, when the town was built or by whom a wizard once told me the name Sprogo is very ancient, maybe even older than Sandrus. The guy at the Goblin Tower, Jazen, told me he had visited other Sprogos before. I'm not sure what he meant by that. I'm assuming I go through the well to get to that town. Uh, also, yes! Haha! <laughs> Uh, floating oil improves your vision. Ooh. Nice. Can get all sorts of scrolls. Nothing here. Ah, yes. Haha. Ah, -ha. uh, shield. Gold. Um. What's my shield at? Five. That's ah, the same. Okay. Um. They do. Can I talk to you? No, I can't. Okay. Well, before we go down the well, we just have one last area to look. The Stevo! Empress, Empress Gwendolyn should abdicate and let more season regents rule before it's too late. The Duke of Unicorn is right. Her childish reforms are tearing the Empire apart. It's already starting here in the peninsula. As soon as her child of the griffin became edict, the gates of Kothar were closed to the travelers. Nobody knows what's going on inside the city, but I heard a group of rebels actually took control of the palace and planned to have Kothar succeed from the empire. See, it's only the beginning. A few months ago, a wizard named Abraham arrived and moved into a house in the north and western corner of the town. He seemed a nice enough fellow, but nobody has seen or heard from him in weeks. House itself is abandoned. I wonder what happened to him. These are city gates. Beyond lies the Agent Peninsula, but I don't believe you're ready for that trip. Why don't you spend some time in Spurgle to hone your hills? Hint, hint, quest under the well. Um, I will talk to you. We're currently investigating the experience of several citizens. No one leaves town. Uh, can I talk to this lady? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, magic, you're saying? Don't forget to visit the Arcane Library. You won't find the real books and grandmas. You find the activities of Seven Seas or even Kalto, but they have a couple of nice spells for you rookies. No offense. Are you real? Oh, well, what you got for me? There's two people here. You, could, you know, you can at least look at me, pal. Welcome, travelers, to my humble display of arcane knowledge. Please have a look at my stuff. Great libraries. I'm proud of my collection of rare books in limited editions, but there's no denying in power. It pales in comparison to the endless shelves of the libraries of the great magic academies in the seven cities. <laughs> to think that if the rumors are to, be, are to be believed, the mythical library of the Faceless was once located in the mountains just north of here. Ooh. Hint, hint, that's probably an actual place you can go to and find some cool loot. Uh, no one's high enough level. Uh, learn spells. Uh, I can't learn any of these spells. What is there? Fire word. Resistance, torchlight. Uh, ooh, it actually might come in handy. Sense of presence near my enemies. Um, burn determination, protecting him from paralyzed, sleeping, or stunned. Granted plus six might value and fireball. Uh, oh, and it is different based off of what school of magic you have. Intriguing. Because she can learn Earthward. Restores 12 health per turn to each party members during the next three turns. It's not much, but that is pretty cool. Uh, that would come in handy as well. I still don't want to waste my magic, though. Eagle Eye. Strength of Earth, Stone Skin. Poison Spray, that was a fun skill. Lightning Bolt. Cool, let's clear mine. Cool. 
Uh, let's see, torchlight. Torchlight would be useful. Darkness Void. Dark Vision. Uh, cool. Whispering Shadows. Time Stasis. Can't be attacked, so it's good to run away from him or to lock down an enemy. Ooh. Oh, cool. So, Prime Order magic is also like the Mesmer in Guild Wars, where it's also like an anti mage. Wow, look at all these cool. I add some new skill, new spells. That's that was always fun. Cool. Uh, identify. Ooh, that would come in handy. But again, spells are expensive as I'll get out. And you do training. All right, cool. Katrina. Missing person. Spargo is usually quiet, but the last few weeks has grown too quiet. Some of the inhabitants seem to have vanished in thin air. And there's a stench coming up from the old town well. I'm completely behind Empress Cordial, and she made some mistakes, of course, and some of her reforms failed. But at least she's trying to improve things in the Empire. The character of Griffin aiming to separate the church from the state is not betrayal, but necessity. Especially after Euro's deception. I mean, days we were blindly trusted angels and church are gone. Uh, cool. Now, I'm curious if I can still cast stuff from here. I hope I can. I can. All right, cool. Good, so you don't have to have it on your heart bar. But if you put it on your heart bar, it's just a little bit quicker than opening the spell book. But it's good to know you're not limited to, to these, which is nice. Um, all right, cool. Next turn, all right. So that's if, like, an enemy is about to hit me. Uh, I like scrolls. Lots of scrolls. All right, well. All right, well. There's only one place to go, and that's the, the well, which is probably the first dungeon. So before we do that, we are going to rest. <laughs>